Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a video in my declutter series. I have filmed this in 2017 so I know it's not going up before 2018 but this is the intro for every video so if you have seen before that's why I have used the same intro for every video. And a main thing in this declutter series is that I'm not getting rid of a lot but I have accumulated a big bag that I have now given to friends and family and my three cousins really really loved it and my mom and my aunt actually got some too. So I have a bit left and that is the items that is that are too dark for my friends and family. So I just need to find the right person and give it to her but they will not be counted in my makeup inventory that I am going to do after the series. Um, and if you want a makeup collection tour or setup or something, please let me know down below. So yeah, this is my declutter series. I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the videos I have planned out. And yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and then I will see you next time. Bye guys. is absolutely insane. So this is all of my lipsticks. I have just done my lip glosses and lip liners and lip balms. So this is the rest. This is liquid lipsticks, it is powder lipsticks, it is bullet lipsticks, sample lipsticks. There's a lip tint here. There's a one lip primer here that I am going to keep. It is the W7 Double Prime lip primer. I'm going to keep that, of course. Um, I love this stuff, by the way. So good. I don't know when this is going up, but at that point, this is going to be gone no matter what. This is my Oriflame lipstick. This is my oldest lipstick, I believe, in my collection. And this was my red lipstick that I wanted to pan for the year. Um, it is almost gone as you can see here, but it is so old so I just going to toss it if I haven't used it up But I don't think I will be so this is going in the trash So this is my Imiti red lip tint um, Imiti makeup lip tint I had two this year, I gave one to my cousin and this is my only one left. I actually really, I'm sorry, I actually really really like this stuff, I just don't use it enough. But in 2018 I think I'm going to try to use it up. I really like it in the summertime to get that red lip without even thinking about it. So I really really like this one, so that is a keeper. All of these are my liquid lipsticks, kind of. These two here in the middle is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. It is a soft matte lip cream, but it is a kind of liquid lipstick. Um, I really, really love these ones, so they are not going anywhere. I have it in Copenhagen and Can. So, a nude and a dark red one. Then I have my NYX Liquid Suede. These are not going anywhere either. It is my grey one in Stone Fox, and then I have it this one in soft spoken love these for fall they're so pretty i can just say it right now i'm not going to get rid of any um so these are the next lingerie and these are the w7 skinny lipping even though i have two colors of this one i love this color so much it is more of a purple so Right. And then we have the new W7 Velvet Secrets. They are so great. So I have some, I have some colorful ones and then some nudes. So these will be fairly easy to find if I ever decide to do that. And then I have my W7 Mega Matte Lips. They are very similar to the NYX ones. But I really like these. 
So for this Mega Matte Lips, these I have bought myself and this package is one I got for free. And this includes four shades and this shade right here is um, the same as this one which is Oddball. Um, so I'm actually thinking about giving this one right here away and then just put this in kind of you know this is a very pink tone and I don't wear it that often I go more for the nude or the entirely red one it's not the same color that is so annoying I thought I had a dupe <laughs> okay I guess I ha didn't okay I thought I was going to get rid of one but I'm not they are different so last that <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> Not doing so good here. I have these two unicorn lipsticks from W7. It is the Kiss and Trip holographic lipsticks. They are so cool. Even though it's blue and white, they have a shift that is so amazing. I'm not sure if you can catch it on camera, but they are so pretty. My two Max Factor lipsticks are not going anywhere, so these can go over here. I have it in Stardust Pink and Scarlet Ghost, my go-to nude and red, so I'm planning on panning these in next year, so that's okay. I have these two for Maybelline in Tantalizing Taupe and Naked Brown, the perfect dark red lip and the perfect nude lipstick. So. These are not going anywhere. My Cool Cos Fuchsia pink lipstick that I have tried to pan this year, not going very great. This is a maybe, maybe. I can sanitize that one. These, these are the W7 Pout Pleaser, I believe they're called. I don't have the print on them, so I don't know what they're called. I love them so much. They are so comfortable on the lips and they're just so pretty shades. So I'm keeping all of these. Most of my lipsticks are nude, so I can easily pan them if I want to. I don't see the problem. My Estee Lauder lipstick that my cousin from te Texas bought me, not going anywhere. This is my most expensive lipstick. I just can't get rid of it. I will pan it or just use it up as I go. So this is not going anywhere. My only Rimmel London lipstick in Naughty Nude. Not this shade. This is a very easy shade to wear as well. Most of my nudes will be great for my internship and future job in general. Um, my only MAC lipstick in Brave is staying. This is my all-time favorite shade. It is the perfect mauve nude color. So it's just perfect. And then these are very similar colors, but it is just my go-to nude lipsticks. These are getting old as well. It is my Max Factor Color Elixir Jan Pen Sticks in a red color and a nude color. This one will be very easy to pan because they are going very fast because they are more of a sheer um, color. And yeah, you just go through them very quickly, so I don't see why this would be a problem to pan. So that calms me down that most of these are easy to pan for the future. And this is such a pretty red shade. This is very similar to to this metallic uh, matte lipstick from W7. It is too much to keep both, but these are too old to pass on. I rather want to use them up. And that is kind of what I feel about most of my collection. I rather want to use them up than give them away. These W7 metallic mattes are not going anywhere. I love them too much to give them away. I love all of the shades. I use all of I use all of them. So I just can't seem to feel comfortable giving them away because they're just that amazing. Totally recommend these. This Naughty Nude uh, W7 lipstick is the only one I have from the line. This is such a pretty nude, so this is a great everyday lipstick as well. My only true orange lipstick from P2, the full color lipstick, is amazing. I can just swatch it for you. This is so amazing, so this is not going anywhere. It is my only true orange red lipstick uh, in my collection. 
So, yeah. I consider trashing this one because it's broken, but it's a really, really gorgeous shade. I have tried to use it up this year, um, but it's just broken from the top. I will give these two away. I will sanitize them and give them to my cousins. And this is the Mimi Me Lip Glide lip color thingy that I have tried to pan this year. This is a great spring color and it can be turned into a very new color if I just put a lip liner underneath. So I will pan this next year so I can just get rid of it. My two e.l.f. lipsticks is not going anywhere either. This is one I'm panning right now. It is the moisturizing lipstick in winged pink I believe. And this is the just a normal e.l.f. lipstick in the fuchsia. Both very neutral, perfect everyday lipsticks. These lipsticks are from W7. It is the Pillow Talks. These are very, very funny actually. I'm not going to give any of them away, but I really like, like them because the uh, the product is in the cap. Um, they're just different and very, very funny to you. So I've gotten these two in a W7 New Year Cracker them something. A beautiful red and a beautiful pink one. And then I've done these smaller ones in my advent calendar as well. These are so pretty but I have so many colors so I'm going to get rid of these. I actually have gotten rid of most of what I've gotten in my advent calendar. But I just have so much stuff and it has been so much fun to open them. But some of these colors are not suitable for me. It will be like these two colors and maybe this one. Um, I will keep, but that is not worth it to me. I have so many nude color lipsticks as you just saw. These are going to my cousins. Because they're cute, but no. I'm just going to keep what I have bought myself and something I like much more. My only MDK lipstick, this is a small sample as well. It is a hot pink, so this is one. I'm going to keep as well. There's not that much in it, so this will be gone very quickly when I use it. I don't know what kind of lipstick it is from MDK. This is staying because it's small and easy and beautiful. I have some metal frost over here that just smells incredible sweet. <laughs> and I don't know if I like that. So these are also very, very dark colors. But I don't think I'm going to be keeping them just because they're frost finishes and they have some glitter in it as well, not my favorite. But I'm not going to keep it just because they're pretty. I will want to use my uh, metallic mattes. Um, they're beautiful. And then I have these. These are actually pretty nice. It is the W7 Filthy Rich 24K Kiss. But these are incredible, um, similar to my metallic mattes, that similar that I can't keep these. I think I'm going to keep this gold just because I, have, I don't have gold lipstick. It is so <laughs> unique. I'm going to keep this gold one just because I think it is quite awesome to have a gold lipstick. I'm going to give these away. And I'm going to keep this from the line because it's unique. So these are all the lipsticks that I'm giving away. I have 20 here, so that is a great number. Consider that I'm not that good at getting rid of stuff. So small is good and I'm so excited for this actually. And I, I will be so excited for my friends and family to get these and try them out and stuff like that. I think they will love them and love to play with them. I feel pretty good about this one, so yeah. When this goes up, I have trashed this lipstick right here, so that doesn't really count. But I am getting rid of this Oriflame one.